Welcome to Electron Online, and now to make sure we understand how to graph trigonometric functions, we're going to see a number of videos now, starting with this one, on how to graph all different kinds of functions. So starting with something that looks like this, y equals minus one-half sine of x. The reason why I threw this one in there, because it has a minus in there, so how do we deal with the minus? Well, first of all, let's graph something we're familiar with, y equal to sine of x. So if we're going to graph y equals sine of x, that looks simply like this. Starts up at the origin, goes up, down, up, down, up, down, like that. And every time we have a period, this is 2 pi. And coming up and down like this, so up, down, up. So this would be uh, 4 pi, and so forth. And uh, because we see that the period is equal to 1, and that would be the sine of x. Now, how do we graph the negative sine of x? So how do we graph y equals negative the sine of x? Of course, remember that since we have a 1 in front here, that this is an amplitude of from plus minus, from plus 1 to minus 1, like that. The negative sine of x simply flips this equation or flips this graph around. And so instead of starting up, we start down instead. So we go like this. And so this is 2 pi. Come around like that, and that would be 4 pi. So it's simply this graph simply flipped over and drawn in reverse. Now, of course, with the 1 half, since this is the amplitude of plus 1 to minus 1, when we put a, man, a minus uh, 1 half in front of it, of course, that takes the amplitude and brings it down to only half the amplitude. So it's simply going to be this function, but only half as high. So that's how we would draw that. So we start down and up, and down and up, and down and up like that. And so this would be the vertical axis is y, the horizontal axis is x. So this would be one complete period. This is 2 pi. And then we have another complete period. This is 4 pi. And the amplitude would be a maximum of 1 half and a minimum of minus 1 half. And that's how you graph y equals minus the sine of x.